welcome back to the show. Tonight's viewer question comes from Margaret on Facebook. She asks, are there any scientific theories that provide a solid argument to reconcile millions of light years with early Earth creation? This question drives me nuts. There must be a way. Has any gifted mind figured it out? Thank you for the question, Margaret. Let's talk about five things very rapidly. Number one, light year is a distance. It's not a time period. Uh, so the speed of light is approximately 12 million miles a minute. So if you think light years, well, it's 12 million miles a minute after an entire year. That's the distance that has been traveled. But it's a lot more complex than that. So the question is based on the idea that if the Earth is 6,000 years old, well, then how does light from objects like distant galaxies more than 6,000 light years away reach the Earth in the period of time that has passed since the Earth was created. So it's a legitimate question. So let's remember the, the second argument that we need to think about here, and that is that even atheistic science has a starlight and time problem. That's right, not even 14 billion years is sufficient time to get light from point A to point B across the entire universe. So if secular astronomy has a starlight and time problem, then I'm going to say, well, of course, we admit that we have a starlight and time problem. But that problem can be addressed scientifically. And let me just share uh, three basic theories that friends of mine have studied for years. The first one is related to Albert Einstein's theory of GR, general relativity. Dr. Russ Humphreys, a friend who is a, a PhD in physics, has stated that according to Einstein's theories of relativity, gravity affects time. We can actually measure this with atomic clocks around the world and even on the International Space Station. And so if we are anywhere in the middle of a gravitational well in our universe, then that means that the farther away from Earth you get, the vast difference of time becomes more and more obvious. In other words, whereas 6,000 years of Earth time may have passed, the farther out in the universe you go, it might give more time for that light to reach Earth. That's scientific. It has been observed. Uh, it is based on solid theories, Einstein's theories of relativity. And so I think that could very well explain a great portion of this problem. Uh, the second theory that I believe addresses a lot of this uh, is another friend, Dr. Danny Faulkner, PhD in astronomy. Dr. Faulkner has stated that there is a word used in the Hebrew text of the creation account that says, let the earth bring forth. The Hebrew word there is dasha. Um, now, it's used in the creation of green plants. It's used in many instances throughout the creation account. So what if it's referring to a rapid maturing that took place on every day of creation? Well, that would explain how God could create things and then rapidly mature the light. It makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? And the third and final theory is more of a convention, and it states that no one has ever me uh, measured the one-way speed of light, which means that we don't actually know exactly how light behaves in the universe. What if it's different than all of the physics that we know about? And uh, how would we find that out? Well, it's not a theory, it's a convention. So there's no way to know for certain. Long story short, three basic theories tell us that there is a response to the starlight and time issue. Whereas on the secular astronomy side, the answer is, well, I don't know. I guess just somehow magic must have taken place. Don't forget to share your questions with us on social media, or you can email them to us at comments at genesissciencenetwork.com. Now, one of the goals of this show is to encourage and fuel the curiosity of our viewers, and sometimes it takes longer than a couple of minutes to fully address the topics discussed in the Q&A. So if this week's question piqued your interest and you're looking for a way to explore this topic further, check out this week's featured resource. Well, it's actually two different videos. Now, whether you are a science enthusiast, a person of faith, or simply curious about cosmological theories, these videos offer a thought-provoking exploration of one of the most 
fascinating mysteries in biblical cosmology. One is titled Dasha Theory, a Starlight and Time Solution, which I filmed with my good friend Dr. Danny Faulkner, a PhD in astronomy, who wrote the foreword to my first book, Wonders Without Number. And then the other resource that I would encourage you to check out is called Starlight in a Young Universe. And this, again, is by another friend, Dr. Russ Humphreys, who has his PhD in physics. He's studying the effects of Albert Einstein's theories of relativity and how they may potentially answer these questions. Now you can find these in the bookstore or at the Wonder Center and Science Museum or you can find them online at the Creation Superstore for digital download, DVD, all of your formats. Just visit creationsuperstore.com.